Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install DeepSeek on your Steam Deck. So I have here, this is LM Studio, uh, but you're not going to find this on the Discover Store or anything. So I'm going to show you how to how to get this and how to get DeepSeek, go <clears throat> DeepSeek, DeepSeek, <laughs> if I can speak today. But I'm going to show you guys how to install this on your Steam Deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just close LM Studio. All right, so over on your web browser, uh well you're not going to go to the github here but rather you're going to go over to lm studio the website i'll have a link to the page down below and you're just going to go right down here download lm studio for linux and uh, that's going to download an app image now you might be thinking uh but the steam deck doesn't do app images it does flat packs that's okay do not fret i will show you how to get this installed even though it is an app image so while that's downloading, you're going to go over to the Discover. And you're just going to search for Gear Lever. Now, I already have it installed, but I'm just showing you guys where to find it. So it's still looking right now. Jump cut. OK, so we are back. And you have to put a space on the search bar that's on the top left, which my face is blocking. But you're going to search for Gear Space Lever on the uh, top search bar and so you're going to find this uh this application right here now of course i already installed it as i mentioned uh but right over here on the top right you're going to see the install button actually you'll see it right here too but go ahead and just install that and then you're just gonna open it when it's done so i'm gonna just quickly uninstall uh lm studio to show you guys so let me just remove that uh it's gonna stay down here on my hint taskbar that's fine um so now what you're gonna do is uh so this has finished uh downloading so we're just gonna go ahead and i just made this folder already the lm studio folder here let me uh unfold screen that for you guys all right so here you have your app image um you can put this anywhere you really want uh, i'm just putting it here for simplicity's sake uh so now here on gear lever you're just gonna hit open and uh since I already installed this uh, previously, it already knew for me to look in this directory first. But you're just going to go right on over to your app image. You're going to click it, hit open. All right. And so you're just going to hit unlock. Just give it a little bit. All right, uh, I think it gives you an install button, but uh, it, I'm not sure if it fully uninstalled it for me, but um, I think move to the app. Okay, yeah, so you hit move to the app in, uh, menu, which installs it as a flat pack, basically. Uh, so now you can just hit launch. And uh, you'll see right here on the bottom that uh, it'll come back. Yeah, it'll come back like this icon, because uh, I basically did a practice run of this before this video. Uh, so now you have LM Studio. Uh, so now what you're going to do, uh, it keeps um, my stuff from before. So I still have these models here. So here's where you're going to go. So let me just uh, move my camera a little bit for you guys. Give me just a second here. Switch back to the deck. Okay, so you're going to just hit the um, uh, discover here. Um, if you don't see... Oops, sorry. If you don't see these buttons over here, just come down here, just click on power user. So now hit discover, and then you're just gonna look for deep seek. Now I already have the uh, QN7B version installed. Uh, so I'm just gonna come down here to the llama version and you'll see this green download button on the bottom right. You're just gonna hit that. That's gonna download. And it's going to tell you, I think, on a pop up down here when it's done. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that. Um, I'm using the QN version. I haven't really tried the Llama version, uh, but that's uh, really all there is to that. Once it's finished downloading, I'm just going to come up here and you're just going to select Deep Seek. And now right here, you can leave all this stuff on the defaults. Um, GPU offload, as far as I can tell, it just um, moves some of the processing over to the GPU, which uh, I, I do have it maxed out. It's. Um, uh, for me, I notice a performance improvement with it. Uh, context length, this is like how creative the model can get. 
um i think the default is 4000 i moved it up to 6500 a little bit and uh, it's perfectly fine um so you're just gonna hit load model wait for this bar to fill up jump cut okay so now the model is loaded you can see on the bottom right over here the uh, system resources being used up uh so now we can uh let's see let's do uh how do you do a t spin on tetris so now it's sinking and right here you can see just like on uh some of the other videos you might have seen you can see its stop process as it's going okay so i want to learn how to do a t-spin in tetris i've heard that it's supposed to be one of the most challenging pieces and can really boost your score but honestly i'm not exactly sure where to start yeah so i mean i i gave the model um a prompt that it definitely wasn't ready for and that's fine uh this is obviously just for demonstration purposes but at this point you guys are done uh enjoy having deep sync locally on your steam deck um you know that way you're not giving away any of your data um you're just running a commute a community version of deep sync on your steam deck and it's happy days and i'll see you guys uh well I'll, I'll let it finish uh making its response here because uh, i do want to show you guys the amount of time uh that it shows at the end uh so like uh i'll just let that keep going right here in a moment you're gonna see how much time it took to think and then it's gonna write out its response so just give it a little bit sometimes it, uh i've sometimes it can take upwards of two minutes and i think it's because of like the um the first setting over here the uh, context length uh, because i bumped it up to 2000 more than is the default after it finishes syncing uh it will give you that response some um for the longest it's taken for me it was two minutes this one took one minute 33 seconds uh so right here you can just open that see the entire thought process and now it's just writing its uh response here but anyways uh oh yeah and you do have to wait for this thing to uh to finish writing out just like uh, any other prompt you can i mean uh, just like any other model you can stop it whenever you want but that's pretty much it you guys now have deep uh deep seek on your scene deck uh i had to say it slower that time <laughs> and uh hope you guys enjoyed that video uh like comment subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.